Hello, so I'm here to show you how to package, pre-package any kind of flower. What I do is I buy sprouted organic flower, not just unbleached, but organic and sprouted, okay? And this is for the long term. I am a prepper. Uh, by definition, uh, Brighton just said that if you don't do CDS, you're not a real prepper because CDS is what would kill any any poisonous. So let's say that uh, this is pretty uh, good package here, but but sometimes you can get food poisoning if you use uh, some wrong material. So you have to continue to study and watch, and uh, so you could you could get all of the information that probably others fail to give. Uh, so we're going to get into that at another time, but, uh, somebody just put my graduation cap on me, which was, uh, the owner of Brighton. He says, if you don't do CDS, if you don't stock it, you're not a real prepper. So congratulations to me. Anyway, let's continue with this. Okay. So there, these are some other bags that I've already, uh, prepared and I'm just stuffing it in a square bucket because this thing gets hard and it becomes kind of squarish. Uh, so give me a moment here as I attempt to fit it in and it's pretty much filled to capacity at this point. And so this is a bucket where I'm filling it in and uh, I'm going to have to get another bucket. So as I say back at the form, right? I have another bag here this one is a little dirty because what's happened is i've unloaded some of the other bags into this one so i'm going to show you what i'm going to do rather than uh putting it directly in the plastic bag sorry i'm handling too many things at one time oh, for crying out loud. Okay. i'm going to put this bag into another bag I think it's safe to do it this way. I don't think this is the little bit of flour here that spilled is really going to interfere with. Um, I don't think it's going to interfere. In fact, what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to elongate it. So I'm going to let some. See how it's kind of like spilling over. So I just elongated it. So that way it's not as wide and it fits just as well and easily. Okay. So just so you could see, I just put the opening, I closed, see, closed the bottom part, put it up inside out and I'm putting it in another, yet another, yet another paper bag because again, I'm dealing with cheap bags, but I mostly don't have to do this. I, and I probably didn't have to do it in this case, in this scenario. So, my apologies here. <laughs> oh, wow. This is not easy working around the camera itself. But here we go. Okay. And no, you shouldn't use the vacuum sealer machine as a table, <laughs> frankly. And I just punctured it again, but I have two bags. So e even with the one bag, I would have been fine. I would have been fine. Um, it wasn't going to do anything. Um, people, people go on videos and they talk a lot about wiping this off all the time. I'm not saying that it's a major problem. Quite frankly, it hasn't been a problem. But as a precautionary measure, I'm doing that. Okay, so here we go. So here's the bag. Put it over here. Okay, so as you can see, it stays midsection. It doesn't go over this part here. And let's see if it works because it's taken me countless efforts. So it clicked. Do you see that? And I'm using a No Namer brand. And uh, here we go. And you can hear that it's already sucking in. You see that? You can hear it. You see? It's tightening up very fast. Okay? See? So it's going to seal itself. This light is going to go on. See? That means it's sealing already. 
so it's taken me all morning to get it right. I tried other bags that were wide like this. You see how wide this is? And it just wasn't taking. I started to use the bags that came with the machine. And voila. Here we go. Nice and tight. You see that? Nice and tight. So I'm going to add it to my collection. This is what my bucket is looking like. Uh, so I got two, four, okay, two, four, six, six packets in a bucket. And uh, I, I'll let you know the proportion, how much of this I bought and how much, how it fit. It actually fit in two, uh, let me see, 15 pound buckets, okay? 15 pound buckets, which is 6.8 kg. Uh, but because it's not perfectly round or perfectly square, you may need a third one just because there's air in between these spaces here. And so I'm going to take my bucket. As you can see, my handle, it's, get, it's gotten heavy. Uh, I'm really proud I finally got this. This has been a task and a journey for me. For quite a few months because I needed to freeze the flour first. I tried buying a freezer, which I'm glad I didn't because soon enough winter came and I just put the flour out there a couple of times. But on the second occasion, uh, it was uh, the flour was in a bulk size plastic bag. Thank God that only a couple of drops got in and that was only when I was trying to open it because the exterior had some water on it and it got in. But uh, thank God that I did not lose my flour, my sprouted millet flour. Okay, so now I'm on my second bucket, and I'm just going to show you how, I mean, what I did was, the first step was to fill, fill up the flour into bags. Um, so as you can see, this has been here for a few days, um, but it nicely packed, uh, probably too big for the bags that came with, uh, with um, uh, my vacuum sealer, which are the perfect size, quite frankly. Uh, so what I'm going to do... Oh boy, look, I just punctured it. Look how easy it is to puncture it. So be careful when you're going in there uh, trying to open the bags. I, I got plenty of supplies here, so I'm not nervous about, about uh, and they still have them in the store. Although uh, my finances have dwindled, um, I have to be a lot more careful. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bag here because this is a little bit too full, I think. This is not going to fit. I need to empty it out so it could fit in, in a size. This is 11 by 8. I think it's 11 by 8. Okay, it's definitely 11. I ordered it and, and, and it just happened to be the perfect size. So now, um, I think this is not going to fit, so I'm going to scoop some out into another bag. Okay, let me adjust this so you can see a little bit better what I am doing. 
So just to make it friendlier, I'm going to move this into another bucket. And uh, use this bucket because it's empty and there's more room in there. And so... Don't mind my little mess here. I'm trying to... I haven't even had breakfast and it's probably past 12 o'clock. Uh, all right. So I got into the bag and I'm going to use probably only half of this amount here. So oh, that's why I'm doing it from the bucket. See? So I'm going to transfer... Two thirds into the other bag so it could fit comfortably into the plastic bag. Uh, putting it in a paper bag so it could help with the vacuum sealing process. You can't just put flour in a plastic bag and seal it because it's going to suck up all the powder and it's going to ruin the machine. So This other bag I'm taking from, I'm going to be pouring some into it from other bags that are a little overflowing. Okay. So you got one bag to another bag. All right. So this is more appropriate, this bag here. And I'm going to kind of like make it become a little more narrow rather than wide. Okay. And... Let me see if I could. Okay. So I'm kind of like making it more narrow. Now you can see my background. Not a good thing, huh? Okay, let me freeze this. Well, and I'm going to take this part that's the opening, and that's going to go down first because I really should have closed it a little better. Like when you're wrapping a gift, you know what I mean? Like when you have buy coffee, it's kind of wrapped. So you see, it's always going to spit off some flour, um, but it doesn't interfere with the process, right? So I'm just trying to show you. So the opening goes down. I don't think it really makes much of a difference, but I just want it as far away from the vacuum sealer as possible so it gets to seal without it... Uh, sucking up any of, of the flour, which is powder, and messing up the machine. But it's working quite well. See? So I got it all in. Okay. As you can see, it fit nice and tight. And now we're going to do the vacuum process. Actually, I could do all of this and then vacuum, but I'm going to just show you this one more example. Uh, this is my little bucket work area, as you can see. So I'm going to seal this one. You see how there's plenty of room? I decided to, to use less of the dose than I was using. I, was, I had my bags too full. So I'm kind of like improvising now. Because I, I want to secure... See, did you hear that click? On both sides, two clicks, right? And boom. And you could hear it. And this is going to go on in a minute. Use a seal. You see? It just went on. Okay. So usually, I, I've already tried about three machines uh, on this project. Yeah, three machines. Um, and basically, just use the bags that they come with, and then or if you're going to order bags, make sure they're the same size. Uh, because a nano inch wider would not allow it to suck in air or do anything. But you see? So 
I, I'm already on bucket two and I'm almost done with my task. I've been procrastinating about doing this. I have lots of other different type organic sprouted flowers that I have to do, but this was the biggest one of them all. And I'm glad to almost have it done. Thank you for watching.